Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Create Mod. This is episode 12 in the series where I do create stuff. Uh, in the last episode, I built this roof that I'm standing on now and that you can see behind me. And today I hope to build a steam engine, numero uno, uh, and secondly, build some smokestacks. So I was just doing some measuring here. I need it to be nine blocks long and in like a circle. So let me really quick here, let me build something. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can delete these. Oh, actually, I wanted this block first. I think this is five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then it's going to be up here. And then like that. There we go. So that's going to be about the size of the base of the smokestack. And that's just because I'm going to put the steam engines inside of these things. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, I think height wise, it'll be good. It needs to be. Let me up. Let me up. Thank you. It needs to be. I'm not entirely sure, but it needs to be pretty tall. I'm thinking like. That tall, maybe. However tall it needs to be, it needs to be at least that tall. And then I'm going to make it like come inward uh, like this and then go up more and then do a lightest block and then do that all the way up. I don't know what block palette I'm going to use, uh, but let's get the steam engine in first. I already did a quite a bit of resource gathering for it just so that you don't have to view that because it is kind of boring. And I think I should have everything. I need some water buckets. I need oh oh some stairs and building blocks, uh, which I guess I don't have. Um, but I have a mechanical arm and everything else, maybe. I did also go to the nether and I got nine blaze burners. I need to put them in the center here. I think that's centered. And this is where the steam engine is going to be. Um, but now I think we can get started on building the actual steam engine. If you don't know, uh, steam engines are basically the latest game power generation unit. So this windmill, ah, I can't get up to it. Um, this windmill generates, I think like 8,000 stress units and it's gigantic. Um, you could definitely make it smaller and less obnoxious looking, uh, but steam engines for the same amount of stress units generated, it can be like a two by two little cube. And all you have to do is power these guys, the blaze burners with fuel. So that could be coal, wood, lava, um, a thing called blaze cakes, which like make them super fancy. But I'm going to do lava for this, and I'm also going to make it a level nine burner. That means there's nine hot boys, and it's I I think the size has to be like 28 blocks in a in a three by three by four. But I'm not actually sure about that. And then they also need water to be powered. And I'll show you that once we get the everything in. But it needs water to be powering like to, to be going into the steam engine and I think other than that and fuel, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's, I suppose, get started. I am kind of going to freehand this. I think the biggest thing that we need, actually, that I should do first, we need 14 cauldrons for uh, automatic lava generation. Um, the, just the number, the odds of getting a lava for free and like it generating, you need 14 to be able to power nine blaze burners at a time. So we need enough space here to have 14 of these bad boys. Okay, let's get started on placing in these pipes. So I need it like this and then over to there like that. And then a bunch of pipes here. And I think two more right there. That should be 14 if we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15 minus two It's 13 plus one there. So it's not 14, but it, it is what we need. I can't put cauldrons here, here and over here, but I am going to put one right here. Um, and I suppose I could put one in the ground there instead if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. Um, and that's so that we can have uh, it go in a block a little bit sooner. And just make it less like tall because it's still going to be really, really tall. So let's get all of these in. Uh, there we go. And then the two here like that. And that's all the cauldrons that we need. 
Uh, however, we also need some water and it's just going to flow everywhere, which is great. If I just throw a tough block there, then we can put a water there and then I need another water. Another thing of water right there. And then we can put the mechanical pump. I don't think there's a good way to do this, so I'm just going to do... Why in the world did you place it that way? That. There we go. And then delete you, flip you around so that it's going upward, and then put a pipe there. Then we're going to put a cog there, and then eventually we'll have the mechanical arm here, but I'm going to wait on that for a minute, just because I need to place it after we put in everything else, because it needs to like connect to everything. Um, so then we're going to put another one there. And then I think just a pipe on that and then the spout like that. We can actually confirm that. Nope. Okay. Um, so we're going to put a, a shoot here anyway. But I need to oh, I need to raise this up by just a block there. And then I can put the spout here. And then we can put a depot with a hopper and another shoot. And I'm going to put an empty bucket in here and a lava bucket in here. There we go. And then if we put a lava bucket on there, it'll go in and we can put the rest of the buckets in here to fill up. Okay, and that is low key quite a bit of the stuff that we actually need. I'm going to put another cog wheel here and then I need some shafts, a vertical gearbox here and then like four or five blocks across. I think to right here, we now need a rotation speed controller, which I totally forgot to craft, so I'll go do that. And that is now done. So uh, once we put this in, I think the last thing we'll need to do is get some dripstone for the like lava farm in the, the steam engine type of thing. So I guess I'll go get that now, and then we'll we'll see what, it, what the dealio is. Uh, so I did try to run around to find more dripstone and it didn't work. So instead, I'm just gonna make a little itty bitty dripstone farm thingy right here. Ah, and for now, we're just gonna throw dripstone onto this bad boy and eventually it'll make some more dripstone for us. I just have to put water on top here and then we'll be good. Um, and in the meantime, I can, I guess, start building the outside bit of the steam engine thingy. There we go, nice, and it should be doing its thing. I guess to start building the steam engine itself, or the 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 the, the not steam engine, the the outer bit, I'm gonna do deep slate on the bottom here. At least I think I will. I haven't actually tested what it'll look like with the blackstone, but I think it'll look pretty good. Um, and then after a couple of floors, like up until I, I think there, I'm not actually sure. I'm going to put in a different like lighter block. I actually super wanted to incorporate some deep stone brick in here as well. Um, and I'm not really following a pattern or anything. Um, I know that like gradients and stuff are like the go to thing to make things look normal. Um, and it's more so gradients or it's less so gradient and more like a like veins of block types. At least that's what Green and Scar always say. So I'm I always try to follow that where like gradients and, and veins go every which way instead of like having some blocks in some places and others other places. I'm not making any sense, but you, I think I think it's kind of you kind of can see what I'm going with like diagonal there and then we can break these couple of things and then maybe a block here and you just want to make it less dense as you go closer to the bottom. And then we can also do, uh, yeah, let's, let's say this and already that looks pretty decent. The only issue I'm going to have probably is getting the height good because this is a big circle. It's nine blocks in diameter, which is likely means we need a lot of building to do like height wise in order for it to actually like look good and, and usable and everything. So again, I'm just kind of going around trying to diagonalize. Um, I do have to kind of switch directions sometimes though, because otherwise it'll 
it'll just look like a spiral and we don't really want that like that does look kind of cool but it's not the vibe we're going for there we go so i have i have one side in and i do think this looks pretty good um and i guess kind of thankfully for me i do think i want it a little bit taller the reason i'm saying thankfully for me is because the taller this thing is and the more normal it looks the better it's going to look given the the size of the circle so if I could have this be kind of tall and it still look to scale with the rest of the factory, I think that'll make it look the most normal. And hopefully that'll be the case. I suppose I just keep building here and then we'll see kind of kind of what it looks like and how it, how it goes. Wasn't that just the best time lapse? That's so crazy. Uh, well, while that was while I was building, I actually did get enough uh, dripstone for I forget what I was building in here. Steam engine for the steam engine, and I already put most of them in. I'm keeping so there's two more cauldrons here that I don't have dripstone for, uh, but I do if I free cam over here. We do have enough. I just want to hopefully generate two more instead of taking these because I've cut the farm down in half or so, and it takes so long. So I want to get as much as I can there. Um, but we have enough for definitely the start. Um, and if I put a block there, we can do that. So let's start throwing down these lava buckets. All we have to do is fill in this whole thing with lava and these steam engine blocks will prevent lava from falling, which is really great. And so will the shafts here. So we can put lava here and here. We just have to put a block right where I, I would be standing if there was a block here. Um, but first, we have to put the, the drips on, under. Uh, so I guess I have a couple of trips to another, and then this should start working. We can see that it is working kind of successfully, because these are dripping lava. So eventually, lava will be in these. And after we have like four or five filled up, then we are probably good to start this thing up. Um, to start it, I just need to connect a cog to this thing and then hit go, basically. Um, so let's actually, let's do that now, just so I can get this up and running. Here we go, hand crank. So I'm just going to throw this on that, and then when I want, I'll start this, and it will start going once it, once it has some lava. So we'll do that in a smidgen, uh, but first let me get more lava to put into the engines. Okay, I totally gave up waiting for the dripstone, and I have all the lava that I need. Um, so I'm going to throw the dripstone in here. These are the last two that we need. And then we just need a block here. There we go. And then two lava sources there. And we are all set up here. And we can confirm by going into free cam and... Oh my gosh, not being able to see a thing. Oh, oh, I almost got it. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Oh, yeah, great. We already have three lava sources. Four. That's one too. Um, it's probably best to, to have like five or six in here. Uh, what I can do to speed up the process since I have a lava bucket already, I can just throw a lava bucket in there. There we go. And then that will, that's four. That's probably enough. Uh, if I built everything correctly, I should be able to turn this lever enough to get this going and then it will go on its own. Yep. There we go. So we are max amount of water and we are getting up there with the heat. We should see that all of uh, these cauldrons are now empty, which is the case. Fabulous. And eventually this will get up to max speed right now. Hovering over it, you can see that it's boiler status level six and it's already producing 98,000 stress units. This stupid thing. 8,000. So 12 times the amount as that, and it's th three levels below what the max level of this size is going to be. Um, which means that area can be closed off. I'm going to do hay bales. You'll see why in a second here. Uh, 
and campfires. There we go. And now that looks like a smokestack because it's smoking. You get it? Fabulous. And now we can't. I'm out of fuel. Ruh -roh. I guess I should get some coal. I need to get a, an infinite lava thing. Maybe next episode we fix up the home base, get us some good drawer storage, get some good like lava refillers for the fuel and stuff. Uh, but until then, I'm just doing this. There we go. Now we can fly again. And now I suppose I'm going to fly up here and try my best. I actually don't know exactly where it is. Holy smokes. I guessed it right away. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't think I have any shafts in my inventory. But we can... This is big brain. You ready? I am going to... Well, we got to put this away. I got to get a belt. Oh, I thought there was a blaze and I was all worried. That's the whole point of the blaze burners. Okay, I know it's broken right now. Ah, okay. I have to go back in there and, and fix it now. Where is it? But this is why you keep the hand crank here. There we go. Because now it works. Oh, and great. It's level nine. Um, that means all of the blaze burners are on. If we can see that better. Here we go. All of them are burning and being all blazy. And now it'll take a little bit. But uh, once these cauldrons start filling up, it will be completely autonomous. And unless I overstress it, unbreakable. Yeah, now that this is working, we can just extend this one more. Get a vertical gearbox. Put that bad boy right on top and then go shafts all along the way here and then i need to put away all these blocks because my inventory is so full and then we could throw another vertical gearbox and then eventually i guess right now we can bring this all the way down to the bottom beautiful and now we can hook this up to the actual system and I just hooked it up. Let me, that works, that works, this works, and this works all at the same time. I'm gonna real quick build a stressometer. I don't know how you make this. There we go, we got the speedometer, and now we got the stressometer. Let's see how much stress we're using. It is backwards, right way. We are using 7% of our total capacity. And before anything turned on, in addition to this, broke it immediately. I think it might soon be time to take down that windmill and repurpose it for something else. We have so many things that we can do. I might just quickly... Nah, I was going to say I might double the speed, but I low-key don't think it's worth it. Well, I think that is going to be it for this video. Uh, we made so much progress. I don't even know if I can do this much progress next time because it's taken so long. Um, but we've made a steam engine, which is great. We have uh, not doubled, not quadrupled, not 10 times, but 20 times the amount of stress units that we produce uh, with one machine. We uh, built two gorgeous steam towers. That just looks so good. Oh my gosh. When this one has a steam engine in it and it's all blowing up the smoke, it's going to look so good. And then we're also going to have two more over there. They're going to look so sick. Oh no, I'm stuck. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, watch the next video too. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.